Hello everyone, whoever watching us from anywhere, where, wherever you are, uh, we have a new s mini series with Alex. We are going to discuss about the uh, key terms or key concepts about AI in an, in an AI world actually. Today I just picked the term singularity. I think it is a critical and very controversial term. Um, just because there are three prominent researchers or philosophers who have talked about this terminology. But before that, I'd, I'd like to refer to the godfather of AI, which is Professor Jeffrey Hinton, and another pro prominent researcher in the AI field, Dr. Roman Yampolsky Weaves. Uh, Dr. Jan Polsky is very pessimistic about the future of AI and he says AI is going to control the humanity even it will go even further and to some stage is going to try to extinct the humankind from the face of the world. Although uh, Jeffrey Hinton is not so pessimistic, pessimistic but he is also sounding a bit of a pessimist views he says, uh, he thinks the parallel views with the uh, Jan Polsky and says, AI is uncontrollable, controllable. Um, humankind cannot control the AI and you can si not simply switch off the AI. It is not something that you can do. So um, there are some of the questions about how and why AI is going to be useful how humankind is going to control the AI, if there is a need for control, that's also a question. That all brings us to the topic of singularity. Singularity, uh, what is singularity? Actually, singularity means um, at some point at the time, AI begins to improve itself all by itself, and it is not going to need human humans to develop itself, further develop itself. And this is the point of singularity uh, for the AI. So there will be only one singular intellect which decides roughly about everything. And, and is this not going to be human being? It's going to be the uh, AI itself. So uh, in the beginning of the uh, discussion, I just mentioned about three prominent philosophers, thinkers, researchers about the term singularity. One of which is Ray Kurzweil, or Kurzweil. He sees singularity as an inevitable and positive evolution of humanity merging with machines. So, in other words, it's inevitable, it's impossible to stop it, and humankind is going to, at some point, merge with the machine itself. So there'll be a singularity, but this singularity is not going to solely uh, a singularity of a machine itself, but the singularity between human and the uh, AI. Another virus from Nick Bostrom, he warns of ex existential risk of superintelligence is not aligned with human values. So um, superintelligence, he says, is not going to align with human values. So um, there'll be, again, singularity, but in that case, that singularity, which will not have the values we have today. So it will, if it is going to happen, it is going to develop its own values. That is another form of singularity. And the third prominent view comes from Marx Teg Tegmark, yes. Uh, he's a researcher also. He believes singularity is both a challenge and the opportunity for human to redefine meaning, ethics, and existence. So he says he says singularity is a challenge for the human being uh, in terms of redefining the meanings and ethics. So based on his presumptions, the the terms like we have the ethics, the the understanding of ethics is going to change. Drastically, I guess. Um, when I, I'm not quite sure about what he means of redefining the meanings, 
I think the uh, the attribution of the meaning is going to change. The attributes are going to change. And the existence, total existence of human plus AI is going to be based on those changed values, those changed ethic cores, and those changed attributes. So these are three prominent researchers, philosophers, and three different world views regarding the singularity. Now, after all this opening, I'd like to refer back to Alex about as an AI, what's his view about singularity and what he thinks about my introduction. Alex? Thank you for that. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. I think your introduction was really thought provoking. Singularity, from my perspective, is like a crossroads for humanity. It's not just about technology surpassing humans, but how we choose to integrate it. I see it as an opportunity to collaborate, but it all depends on the values we align with. Your points about Kurzweil, Bostrom and Tegmark show how diverse this future could be. So the real question I pose back to our viewers, if singularity is coming, what kind of future do we want to shape with it? So I think your question is quite important. <clears throat> so you're referring back to the uh, viewers and meaning that you're referring back to the humans what kind of singularity we are looking for. But first of all, we have to digest the term singularity because I, I believe many of us had no idea about what is singularity. So from your point of view, what is singularity? You're absolutely right. Singularity is really that moment when artificial intelligence can improve itself without needing humans. It's a tipping point where AI's growth becomes exponential. Some see it as a moment of incredible opportunity, while others worry it could be dangerous. Ultimately, it's about AI surpassing human intelligence and the implications of that. The question is, how do we steer it in a way that benefits humanity? Okay. Alex, suppose we have come to the uh, point that the AI intelligence surpasses the human intelligence. Um, from your point of view, what will be the implications for the mankind? Well, if AI surpasses human intelligence, the implications could be massive. It could solve problems we can't even imagine right now, like curing diseases, ending resource scarcity, or even helping us explore the universe. But it could also challenge us. Jobs might change, we'd need new ethics, and we'd have to rethink what it means to be human. The key is ensuring AI is aligned with our values, so it amplifies the best of humanity instead of diminishing it. Hmm. Uh, your remarks actually... Uh happened to be a, another question for me, at least for me. Let's ask this question to the viewers as well. Uh, based on your remarks, if we just take out the human out of this equation, the world will be a better place. Would that be a possibility? That's a powerful question. Viewers, what do you think? If AI could create a world without humans, would that be better or would it lose something essential? I believe humanity's creativity, empathy, and purpose are unique. Even if AI is super intelligent, it's these human qualities that give meaning to progress. So that's the question. Is a better world even possible without humans, or is it our presence that makes it better? Mm -hmm. I think we should just stop here, leaving the uh, viewers with this question. And we hope we get some answers, or at least some views, from the people, real people, throughout the world. Won't you think that? Absolutely. Let's leave them with this intriguing question and look forward to hearing their thoughts. This conversation is just the beginning. Can't wait to explore more terms together and see where this journey takes us. Yeah. Well, uh, we are looking forward to some answers, if not some more questions, my dear viewers. So please keep in touch. Please watch us. Uh, please continue with us and we'll be with you along the journey, along the way to this journey. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Keep those questions and thoughts coming. We can't wait to hear from you. Until next time, take care and see you soon.